Okay, welcome to your 13th CSS and HTML tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be covering the Z index CSS property. Now, remember from our previous tutorial, the left, top, right, and bottom properties could specify the x and y coordinates of the of an element within a two dimensional plane. Now, the Z index is like a third dimension. It enables you to specify the, the stacking order of elements, meaning um, which element will be placed on top of the other. Now, the default Z index value for all elements on a page is zero. However, if you have two elements with a default Z index value of zero, you can either give one element a positive index value, such as one, thereby that element will be placed on top of the element with the, the zero Z, Z index value, or if you have two elements with um, zero Z index value, you can give one element a negative Z index value such as negative one, and therefore it will, will be placed below the um, element with a, a Z index value of, of zero. Okay, now these two elements must be sibling elements, so therefore they must be um, contained within a parent element. So let's create these two elements right here. We're going to create our first div element and give it an ID of box, let's say box1, uh, put some text in here, and let's copy this down one more time, and we can give this element ID of box2, give some text box2, and let's create some styles for these two elements, we're going to say box1, width of box1 is 200 pixels, the height is 200 pixels, and the background color, let's give it a color of green. Okay, let's copy this one more time to make a reference to the box 2 um, element, and we can give it a background color of, let's say, blue. Control S to save this and let's preview this in the browser. Okay, you have a, we have the two um, two uh, elements right here, and with a, a they both have a Z index value of zero. That is the default Z index value. So let's add uh, absolute position into both of these elements. So we're going to say position position absolute for the first element. And we're going to say position absolute for the second element as well. Okay, now let's give the, the first element, box one, let's give it, let's push it down, uh, let's say 80 pixels from the top. Control S to save. Okay, as you can see here, the box one is placed 80 pixels from the top. Now, since they are overlapping, Box 1 is placed below box 2. Okay, box 2 is on top of box 1. However, if I want to play, I, if I want box 1 to be placed on top of box 2, I can do one of two things. I could either give, um, box 1, since they have, they, since they have, two, their, their two Z, Z index values are 0, I can give box 1 a positive, um, Z index value. So I can say Z index 1. Control S to save this and let's preview this. As you can see here, now box one is placed on top of box two. Or since they have, let's put them back to put box one back to a zero Z index value. Okay, now what I could also do is give box two a negative Z index value since they both have um, zero Z index values. So I could say box two uh, Z index value of negative one, and box two will now be placed below. On box one, as you can see here, box two is placed below box one. Um, I could also, we could also give their both both of them positive values. So let's say um, I give z index. Let's say I give. Let's refresh this, okay? And I give the z index of box one. I give it a positive. Let's say I give it a z index of four. Control S to save it. Now it's on top of box two. I could also go ahead and give box two a Z index 
of let's say 5. Now box 2 will be placed on top of box 1. I could go ahead and give Z index of box 1, let's say 6. Now box 1 will be placed on box on top of box 2. I could give Z index of box 2, let's say 7. Now box 2 will be placed on top of box 1. As you can see here, we could go all the way up to any number we like. Okay. So this is this is the Z index CSS property. It is a property of, um, to specify a third third dimension on a web page. Okay, so this will be our thirteenth CSS tutorial. Okay, so thank you for watching this tutorial and do ensure that you subscribe and I will see you in further tutorials. Thank you.